Hello and welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today I'm going to be taking a look at a mod from a mod maker who doesn't really need much of an introduction um, and that is the Sensil from Geppetto. Um, Geppetto, obviously, Polish modder, very, very uh, big up in the high-end world, you know, made some of the, the nicest mods and uh, my favourite modder. And uh, recently, uh, one too long ago, about a month ago, he started asking questions about coming up with maybe a more simplistic design, something that he could make a lot more in bigger batches and probably uh, for a lot less money and get out to many people who have been striving to get their hands on a Geppetto for a very, very long time. And this is what he came up with, the Sensil. Now, I believe Sensil, I've looked it up a couple of times, I believe it's sort of like kind of Spanish for easy or unassuming or simple. And, um, you know, it is. It is very simple. Um, it, it is quite unassuming, and he's, he's really done what he set out to do. Now, it takes a, a, an 18650, single 18650, uses a DNA 75, um, full wood as well. Maybe there might be some hybrids in the future, but the only ones I've got, there's only been a few made. I mean, this is the prototype right here. Um, I kind of did a sneaky. Um, there'll probably be a few people on the Chapato group going, that little sneaky British prick. Yes, I did a little sneaky and I messaged Pound. I said, look, I'd really like to have a look at this one. Um, I like what you've got, the idea behind it, that you're trying to get more out for people. You're trying to make a mod that's uh, more cost effective and uh, going to be available to a lot more vapors who have been dying for Geppetto for a long, long time. And uh, he was graciously enough to go, yeah, yeah, I'll send you the proto and you can do a video on that. So here we are. Um, and I've spoken to him today as well, before I put this video out, because I wanted a bit more information about his plans for it. You know, it's a very exciting news, you know, to a lot of vapors and to me to know that he's going to be making quite a lot and hopefully to be able to get it in hands sort of like, without having to do sort of these big randomizers and things like that. And he's hoping to make these in sort of batches of 50 to 100, um, either getting them out into shops, um, also doing sort of X1s, randomizers and in other groups as well. And to try and basically get these into hands of more and more vapors. Now, um, I'll, t I'll talk about the cost at the end. So uh, you can wait for that as usual. A lot of people go, bastard, why don't you tell me the cost straight away? But yeah, I mean, we've got a catch cup in the top as well. Um, so, you know, that's 23.3 mil. So any atomizer 23 mil or under is going to fit nice and flush on this. Uh, unless you've got one of those uh, Euroboros Verve atomizers with the little Geppetto adapter, you can use that as well. And then you could probably use anything up to sort of like 26 mil on this. It's 95 mil in height, 35 mil in length and 27.5 mil in width. So, uh, yeah, if you've got an atomizer 26 mil or under with one of those sort of uh, uh, Euroboros adapters, it's going to look nice. We've got a really nice um, faceplate to wood sort of a uh, two-tone going on here. They look like two different species um, and I'm sure he'll be doing a lot more two-tone on other versions of this. We've got full wooden buttons as well um, and they're sort of invisible, sort of very flush, um, completely flush with the mod as well and you know from some lights when you look at it you can't see them at all but they're very very easy to push, very easy to use. You don't have to struggle to dig deep and stick your fingers in there or anything. Um, you can even just fire it just by giving it a squeeze. I can't believe I said that. Um, anyway, yeah, and um, the usual Geppetto signature um, battery cap on the bottom there. And um, yeah, I mean, even unassuming and simple like this is, it's still got that Geppetto vibe going on all about it. Well, before I waffle on any more and uh, get into any more details about it, about it price, etc., let's pop down to the table now. You can have a little look at it up close and we'll come back and we'll give it a bloody good vaping. Shave. So, as always, when you receive your Geppetto, it comes down a nice little box like this, a nice deep engraved G on the top, established 2011. Open it up inside. Yes, you'll have your usual um, handwritten message in the side, type, what type of mod it is. This one's the Sensor. Obviously, you usually get a serial number and what species of wood, but this is the Proto, so we get Proto there, and a signature from the maker himself. Also inside the box, you'll get a nice little leather holster that you can hold your Sensil in. You know, you usually get these with uh, all the mods that he does now. If you're out and about or uh, don't want to put it in your pocket, you can have it round your neck in a nice little Geppetto holster. So uh, let's take a closer look at the Sensil itself. So here we have the Sensil. And straight away you can see it's very different from what Geppetto's done before. I mean, the name Sensil, I think it comes from the Spanish of simple and unassuming. And compared to his previous work, yes, it, it is indeed. I mean, they've come, Geppetto's pretty synonymous with curves, very ergonom ergonomic, very 
stylistic mods and uh, this one is uh, very plain and uh, kind of more simple a uh, big reason for that that's so he can make a lot more and uh, lower the cost and get them out into people's hands so everyone can own a geppetto not to say this is not a really really nice little mod indeed um, it takes a dna 75 with a single 18 at 650 it's 95 mil in height 35 mil in length there and 27.3 mil in width we do have a catch cup on the top, 23.3 mil in diameter, with a reverse threaded brass 510 as well. We have that signature sort of uh, battery tube on the bottom, uh, battery cap on the bottom there, like it does with all of his mods now. And on the front, I mean, this is where it's uh, pretty cool as well. The faceplate, different sort of wood to the uh, mod itself, so you've got that nice little two-tone effect. And we've got these really nice hidden buttons now, the fire button and the menu buttons are hidden away. Nice and clicky and still really easy to fire. You don't need to dig deep to get them to work. I mean, I can still fire this just by holding it in my palm and giving it a squeeze. I've had a lot of practice doing that. Um, yeah, so, I mean, they're really nice and hidden away there, but like I said, they're very comfortable, very clicky, and they're not a problem as well. And it's a nice little two-tone effect. It really gives it a nice sort of plain, streamlined look. Micro USB on the bottom as well, you know, if you want to um, basically hook up to eScribe or download any software updates or change your, your screen or what have you, then you'll need this to uh, hook up to eScribe on your, on your computer. Not sure on the species of wood on this, but it's uh, really nice indeed. It's got a nice lot of colour variations, lovely bit of natural wood there with some nice burl. Nice two-tone effect. The faceplate is absolutely beautifully uh, put onto this mod there's you can't see any grooves can't see any gaps or it's not raised at all it's completely sort of all in one so very very nice indeed i'll just stick a little snapdragon on the top here let you see what it looks like with an atomizer on the top So, yep, yeah, very, very nice indeed. There you have the Sensor um, from Geppetto. Now, uh, let's go up top and I'll give you my final thoughts. So, there you have the Geppetto Sensor. Yes, very, very different to what he's done before. We've got no signature curves. We've got no sort of fins, hooks, um, lumps, bumps, anything like that. We've just got a straight to the point. Almost, I mean, I remember when he first put his post up, he said something mech-like. Uh, now, it's not a tube, but it is that sort of straight, sort of just simple design like this. But it's still really, really, really nice. You know, um, it's, a, it's a lovely piece of wood. The faceplate, the buttons and that, all hidden away. So it is a really nice, sort of simple little thing indeed, you know. And yes, it comes with the added bonus of having the Geppetto name put to it. And that's a, a lot to do with... Um, these sort of mods, especially a Geppetto mod. You know, the name is a big thing. You know you're getting quality and you know you're going to get good customer service and things like that with it as well. And, um, yeah, it's just it's just nice, like with anything, like with Porsche or with Rolex or something like that. You know, the name is synonymous with the, uh, the, the work that you're getting. Uh, I do love the switches, like I've said, them hidden away, and I do like the simplicity of it. And, um, you know, it is going to be a very, very popular little mod as well. Now, you know, I'm not going to waffle too much on. We all know how much I like his work. Um, we all know how much dick riding I do when it comes to Geppetto. So I won't bore you with any more. Now, his price point that he's trying to do on these is a maximum of $395. That's the maximum he wants to do at. If it can go a bit lower, he will try and make it a bit lower. And like I said on the uh, first section, he's going to try and do bigger, big batches of this compared to what he's ever done before. Batches of maybe 50 to 100, and he's going to try and do lists, X1s, randomizers, other groups, and to try and get in shops as well. Now, he's hoping that um, these will be available come Christmas, you know, give or take. So, you know, if you want one of these, start putting a few little pennies together, and uh, possibly for Christmas, these will be more available than any other Geppetto mod in the past. Uh, because of their simplistic nature, because of the way they are, he is going to be able to make a lot more of these in a lot a better time scale. So, you know... Uh, and I would recommend getting one, totally. They are a nice, even though it's just a, a rectangular box, it is nice, the wood is lovely, the uh, faceplate switches, um, the catch cup on the top with that recess well, um, it is very, very nice indeed. And it's also a Geppetto as well, um, so you know you're getting quality. So there we go, that is the uh, Geppetto Sensi. I'll just take a quick blast before I go.
Lovely. He'll only be doing these in DNA 75 as well. I did ask if there was going to be any other boards used. Only DNA 75s on this one, but, um, you know, very popular chip. Everyone seems to like it, so there you go. So thank you very much for watching this review, and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.